Hey, what is up, everybody? Aldrima Harper here. Uh, welcome to another training. Today, we're going to be talking about integrating podcasting into your entrepreneurial endeavors part two. So last week, we did part one, where we talked more about the benefits um, uh, in terms of integrating podcasting into your entrepreneurial endeavors. And so I'm going to continue talking about it, but from a productivity standpoint, we talked about it last time from an alignment, a content alignment standpoint. But today, again, I want to talk about it from a productivity standpoint, right? Uh, so I was in a conference, uh, um, a a um, conversation with one of my clients uh, just this past week. And so we were talking about, you know, the podcasting. So, you know, it's a podcasting client. So we're talking about, you know, all of the things that go into, you know, creating your podcast. So I shared with her, I said, you know, I said, I've gotten to the point now where I can actually do a podcast one episode from start to finish in less than 30 minutes. And so she was like, wow, okay. And so I didn't say all that to impress her or anything. I said that, and I even told her, I said, it hasn't always been that way, <laughs> right? Um, it, it used to take me way longer, but over the years, I've been able to get better and better and better at it. And so in by no means have I arrived, but I can say that I believe uh, that I have gotten a whole lot better at creating content and showing up at a, a, um, a higher level to serve people, you know, good content and in a way that serves them at from a high level um, and where I can show up and serve, you know, people who are listening and engage in, you know, the content. So that's what I want to talk about today, because again, it, it hasn't always been that way. Right. Um, but as you already know, I love podcasting, right. And I love the fact that I can incorporate and integrate podcasting into my entrepreneurial endeavors. And so when you think about, you know, podcasting, change your view about the fact that it's something else to do in my business. When you change that view, you'll enjoy it more, particularly if you like podcasting. So, you know, my goal has been to show up in a way that I can serve people at a higher level, as well as enjoy what I'm doing and incorporate the things that I love in my business. So hopefully, you know, I said all that to say, you know, I, I, um, this is what I'm going to be talking about today. So integrating podcasting into your entrepreneurial journey, uh, and it should not be like an extra thing that you do, right? Um, podcasting can complement and enhance your entrepreneurial journey, especially when you focus on alignment, like we talked about last time and productivity, Right. Because it all goes hand, it goes hand in hand. Because the the when you think about integration in the broad sense, right? It, it's it's combining the different elements or the systems to function in a cohesive manner. And so it's really about the ability to create a unified and efficient system from all of those different components. In other words, when you have a business and you're already creating content, you know, it's like an easy segue to incorporate those things, but you don't do it all at once. It takes time. And, and, and so for me, it's taken years for me to get to this point where I feel like I'm, I've, I've gotten my rhythm and, and I feel like I'm, I'm in a much better place and so that's why I can do an episode like in 30 minutes. So let me just talk about the three things that I felt that were instrumental in helping me to get to that point. Okay. 
uh, that's helping that has helped me to get to the point where I can create an episode in less than 30 minutes. It just doesn't take me that long. So number one, I had to develop a cadence, a cadence to, to, to keep my flow, right? A cadence, a rhythm to keep my flow. And number two, I had to deploy systems so that things don't fall through the cracks. Y'all know I love systems, right? And lastly, I had to make a decision to prioritize my focus. So develop a cadence, deploy systems, and decide to prioritize my focus and my intentions, right? So what do I mean? Let's talk about the cadence part first. So what I mean about develop a cadence, right? So by definition, a cadence is a rhythm, a flow, right? You know, when you, I was in the marching band uh, in high school, and so there was a cadence. Some of you may, you know, uh, may be able to identify because maybe you were in uh, one of the, you know, one of the armed services. I was actually in ROTC in high school, so there was a cadence, you know, to march to. There's a beat, right? And so when you have that beat, and that rhythm, and you march to that rhythm, you know, it's like that, that regular pattern of content creation in this case, right? Then you can do this in less than 30 minutes, right? So, and, and here's how that applies, the cadence part. How does that apply to your podcasting? Well, number one, consistent cadence means, uh, for one, publishing your episode at set intervals, right? My podcast uh, releases 7 a.m. every Tuesday. And until I change that, that's what that's how it's going to be. Every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m., that's when my podcast episode goes live. So I have a regular schedule. Not only that, what helps me keep my cadence is I have a workflow. I've established a repeatable process for planning and recording and editing my podcast. And so that allows me to, to really have a nice cadence that helps me. It helps me to manage my time. It helps me to uh, manage my tasks, right? And it helps to uh, keep me focused on the quality so that I'm not rushing to do things, right? So, and not only that, everybody, it, it helps me, but it also helps my listeners because they know when to expect new content, right? So cadence. Secondly, I said deployed systems. So in the context of podcasting productivity, it, it refers to an organized process and tools and methodologies, and they all work together to streamline and optimize my podcast production, right? So uh, I have a step-by-step process for my podcast production. And so I don't have to think about what the next thing is to do. I already know because I've done it so many times because I've created the workflow and the process. And I know at every stage, what is the next thing I need to do, right? So I can create my content and, and, um, have my systems for organizing my episodes, my research, my scripts, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. So that's why I can do this in 30 minutes. Number two, no, number three, actually. (laughs) So number one was, developing uh, a cadence. Number two was deploying systems. And number three is all about making a decision, making a decision to prioritize what you're going to focus on, right? I I had to create something that worked for me and not against me, if if that really makes sense, right? So um, when it comes to, you know, prioritizing, in, in terms, in, in especially in my podcasting, I knew that I wanted to create content around podcasting, uh, business systems, getting organized, just like I'm doing right now, right? So I have made that my priority. That's primarily what I want to focus on. So I made that decision to do that, 
right? So when you think about prioritization, uh, prioritization, particularly in podcasting, it refers to identifying and focusing on the most important objectives and activities that move the needle. So in my business, what moves the needle is creating uh, content around what I'm doing as far as podcasting and systems and, and staying organized in your business, right? And when I prioritize that, and I know that that's how I want to show up in terms of the content that I want to produce, it's like, it's like easy peasy, right? And so I know that in my calendar, you know, uh, schedules, I allow for the time so that I can work on creating content and working with my clients and doing the things that I enjoy, that's where I want my focus to be. And as far as content creation and working with my clients, that's what moves the needles, that moves the needle in terms of my business. The other thing, you know, when it comes to that is in terms of prioritizing is skill development. I have identified the skills that I want to work on in terms of my podcasting. I've identified what skills, you know, I, I continue to tweak my interviewing skills if I'm doing um, uh, interviews, right? I'm also tweaking and developing my skills in storytelling. I hope to get much better because I haven't arrived yet, right? Because these are the things that benefit my, po- my, my podcast. And these are the things that I decided I wanted to pr- uh, prioritize. So in other words, for creators like you, right? In, in your business and you're in, in incorporating podcasting into your business endeavors, you want to make sure that you make the most of the limited time and resources that, uh, that you have available. That way, your efforts are going to be directed toward those activities when you focus on that and when you make that uh, a priority, right? So anyway, so hopefully this is helpful for you uh, because I believe that when you understand you know, and implement these types of strategies, it can be seamless and you can grow to the point where it's like, hey, okay, I got to create a, an episode, you know, uh, for next week or three weeks from now, because obviously there are other ways you can do that. There are ways that you can do that, that keeps you from being stressed about the next thing that you have to do, but it just creates a win-win situation for the people that's listening to you and the, uh, and, and yourself, Right. Because you show up in a way that, you, you, you know, your energy is high. Right. Because you're not thinking about all those other things that can, you know, uh, uh, stifle you from showing up in a more authentic and powerful way. So anyway, I hope this quick training has helped you. Um, as always, if you're interested in closing the gap between where you are and where you're trying to go and how I can help you to fill in the gap, then book a success strategy call with me. On the call, I share options that's available, uh, that I have available for you. And if at that time it makes more sense for us to work together, we'll discuss how to move forward. Otherwise, you do walk away with a strategy that you can implement from the call. So, The uh, link is in the comments below, but if you're just listening and you're on the go, all you have to do is go to bit.ly forward slash pod launch strategy. So that's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash pod launch strategy. So I hope this has served you well. So check out the links so that you can subscribe to the podcast and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, I hope to see you soon. I hope you got takeaways from this. All right. Chat soon. Have a great day. Bye.